My name is uh, Kenny Graham and I'm excited to be at Yoga Land this year. I was at the first ever festival there in Belgium and I loved it and I'm uh, so excited to be back. Um, I teach in Santa Cruz, California. I've been teaching yoga for 11 years and in that time probably taught you know 20 to 25 different teacher trainings from the United States to Costa Rica, um, in Europe. So it's always great to go back to Europe and be with the people that I've met over there so many different times. So from the moment that you became a teacher, or the moment that you decided that yoga was kind of your path, um, how did it change you? So, yeah, so the way I came to yoga was actually through my father. He had a bad back and he brought a yoga book into the home that a friend lent him. And everybody in that book was in like unitards. <laughs> but I went through the book and I found, you know, I found all the hardest poses and those are what I wanted to try first. I think I have that I, book. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This? Oh, wow, no, it's not that one. That's no. not the one I had. That one is way more dated. <laughs> this is my first yoga book. This is my inspiration wow. for getting yoga. It was like, it was this book by Sue Luby. I don't know who Sue Luby is. I wonder if she's still doing yoga. But, and I wonder if she ever saw this, if she was surprised that somebody still has this book. I want to see the pose that you, that inspired you the most. <laughs> okay. Okay. <book. laughs> I can find one. It's probably some kind of arm balance. Yeah. Yeah, probably back then. Now it's like tree pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things just change. Well, this one I always like, Vashisasana. Oh, yeah. That was her form. Mayurasana. Oh, wow. Peacock pose. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that was my first, ins my first inspiration into yoga started with the book from my dad. And then from there, I started to do it because I was snowboarding competitively. And every morning I would do it sort of warm up to prepare for the day for riding. But then at the same time, I, I really understood like um, it was starting to change my mind a little bit because there's chapters in there about meditation and pranayama. And I realized, huh, my mind felt like it was getting clearer, a little bit stronger. Because I'd say when I came to yoga... I'd say the first thing I really need to work with, I already had a sort of physical life, but was to settle my mind and to calm my thoughts a little bit, um, to kind of gain control of a mind that, you know, at times I would just, my thoughts would create suffering. There's sort of a story behind it that I don't often share, but I feel like it's probably a good time to share it. So I lived in New Jersey in, on the East Coast of the United States. And one day I was walking on the beach there and I was asking myself, I was like, what, you know, what do I want to do with the life? And I put it out to the universe. I don't know what to do with my life. You know, I don't know what to, I felt like I had no direction. And so I was walking down the beach and it was after a big storm and there was a lot of debris washed up on the beach. As I was walking, I, I saw this orange um, prayer flag or something on the beach, a piece of cloth. And I picked it up and it was attached to a piece of bamboo. And when I flipped the image over and I flipped over the piece of cloth there was an image of a monkey and he was carrying a big mace in one hand and like what looked like to me an island or a mountain in the other hand and it was really in that moment and it sounds like it sounds like I'm making up but in that moment I decided I was like I have a feeling I'm going to teach yoga but I didn't yet know who this monkey was and then after doing some research and finding that image you know, in a book, I realized oh, this, this guy's name was Hanuman, and Hanuman's, he was, the idea was he was to be in service of other people, you know, and he represents the yogi, the idea of bringing, you know, the relative and the absolute together inside the heart and doing the practices. And so I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. And then I moved to California and I just went full on into the practice of yoga.